This is a little short video that on a lighter I just picked up here not too long ago. Uh, it's another uh, I am Corona lighter. Pipe lighter for that matter. See the little pipe symbol on top here. Let me zoom in here. If I can get a good focus. I don't know how old this is, but uh, it hasn't been used much. Looks at the bottom. I am Corona. I can call it a pipe magic. Hasn't had much use on it. The lid is just excellent shape. Excellent shape. I don't know if I can zoom in any closer on this or not. Let's see if I can. Tell they haven't been used too much by looking at the flint wheel. And, you know, if it's not really, looks like I got a lot of wear on it or been jammed up with flint residue in there. This one looks pretty clean. Plus, it's not scratched up a lot. So, just, uh, you know, just some. These scratches don't go all the way through, they're just handling uh, marks, you know, more or less. Well, you know, I've never had one of these before, and I thought, when I first opened it, I thought, man, that's a small hydra, you know, probably about the same size as a Dunhill roll gas, but not near as thick. Okay, Dunhill probably, oh, I don't know, third again as thick, maybe. But the first thing I noticed when I opened it up and struck it is how easy that roller worked. All right. You can see how the gas goes off before the cap gets all the way down. And the cap has got a lot of it, it feels real good. I mean, this lighter just feels really solid built, and uh, it's got a, it's got one of the smoothest actions as far as the lighter cap assembly goes. That uh, it just, other than just saying, you could feel the quality in it when you open the lid. Now, let's see, turn the flame down, turn the flame down as far as I can with my fingernail here, I don't use a, there's still a small flame there if you can see it, now let's shut it off, open it back up and fire it up, look at there, you still got a small flame there. Let's open it up a little bit. That's actually that'll open more than you'll need, and sometimes you get an erratic flame on those because they're really pushing an excessive amount of gas. But this is an excellent quality lighter. If you, if you want some that's, uh, you know, it doesn't take up a lot of space, say for instance, something that just, it feels good in the hand, it feels solid, but you don't want something as big as a, maybe an old boy or, uh, I don't know, Pipe Master. Let's see, I've got a Pipe Master here. For those of you who's familiar with pipe masters, let's just see size comparison, for instance. All right, 
Here's a pipe master. You can see that the pipe master is a little bit longer, a hair bit wider, and a little thicker. But I don't let that size fool you. This thing holds, let's see. Let me see. I, uh, I filled, I emptied it out, weighed it, and before, uh, before I filled it up, weighed, uh, 63.5 grams. And after I filled it up, it weighed 65.3 grams. That's a total of 1.8 grams. That's, a uh, for the size of a lighter, that's a pretty reasonable amount of tank uh, uh, capacity. Uh, but if you've been looking at one of these and uh, and you th you know you've been kind of uh, putting off uh, purchasing one, I can tell you right now that this is a this is a quality lighter. It really is. And the good thing about it is, even though it's vintage, you can still get them serviced. Now, the ARS Lighter Repair out of Henderson, North Carolina. Uh, they're, they're the uh, factory authorized IM Corona Service Center. So, uh, you know, if you have a, if you have a IM Corona lighter of any sort, and giving you problems and you just you know been putting off having to fix giving those boys a good shout out there because uh, they do good work you send your lighter in and they'll send you back an estimate okay just bear in mind it's going to cost you about a little under eleven dollars uh, when they ship it back to you if you decide not to get one because when they send lighters back they send them uh, signature confirmation, so it costs a little bit more on shipping. So, you know, of course, shipping isn't cheap nowadays, but uh, then again, uh, a good quality service isn't cheap either. You know, having something done, something done right, is two different things. But anyway, got the little, uh, Put your flint in there. I kind of like that. That makes it simple. Also, too, I just put a brand new flint in this day. When this space starts really getting down there, you can tell that the flint's getting low. Uh, it's just got a good, solid mechanism. There is no, you know, scraping between the lid and here. It's just an excellent quality lighter. Again, this is a vintage pipe lighter made by I.M. Corona out of Japan called a Pipe Magi. And uh, if you've been looking for one and you find one and you want to give it a shot, I'd highly recommend it. It's an excellent lighter. And not only that, Flint, uh, the wheel on this, it just doesn't take much to turn that wheel. Uh, and it doesn't take much and uh, it just, I don't know, it's like the right combination of, uh, it just takes a very little effort. I could probably just, you can probably, I mean, I think I can flip that with this little finger here. Look at there. Even in an awkward position like this, with two fingers. See how easy that is to flip. And it's just, it's just natural to flip it open and just, it's very, very natural. I'm going to tell you, whoever designed this, engineered it, I should say, uh, did an excellent job. Anyway, that's the pipe magic by I am Corona out of Japan.
All right. 